I'm Hayley from Life Science Centre and today is Earth Day. This year's theme is climate action and that means thinking about how we can help to tackle the enormous challenge that is climate change. We need your help to take action by becoming part of a worldwide network of scientists. To do this you don't need a science lab, you just need things you might have lying around at home. And we're going to use those things to build a weather station. Weather is what conditions in the atmosphere are like right now. It might be beautiful and sunny, it could be windy, it could be rainy, or it could be all three in a day. Weather can change quickly. Whereas climate is long-term weather patterns over months or even years. And that is where you come in. To find out the climate of a particular area, we need data. Lots and lots of numbers. I have made a rain gauge, which I can use to measure how much rain falls in my back garden every day. If you'd like to make one of these yourselves, head over to our website where we have step-by-step -step instructions. There are also instructions on how to make a wind meter. These can be used to tell us about wind speed. every day is really useful because it allows us to see if anything changes over time. Maybe there is a lot more or a lot less rain on a particular day compared to what it was like in the past. At the very extremes, this could cause flooding or even droughts, both of which can be incredibly dangerous. So if we can predict and plan for these events, maybe we'll know how to act. Before you start your experiment, there are a few things we need to think about. We need to make sure our experiment is the best it can be, so that the data is the best it can be, so it's the most helpful for the scientists. We need to make sure that our experiment is a fair test, and that means just changing one thing at a time. With our rain gauge, we're measuring how much water falls every day, so the thing that's changing is the day. Everything else needs to stay exactly the same. We need to make sure that our experiment stays in the same place. I've put my rain gauge on these little flags so that it can't fall over. We need to make sure we come out and take our measurements, take our numbers at the same time every day. And then once you've done that, you want to empty out all of the water, put it back in the same place. Can you think of anything else that would help make this a fair test? Once you've collected some data, you can upload it to the Met Office WOW website. Met Office are the people that forecast the weather, but they're also doing lots and lots of climate research. Your data, along with information from people around the world, will help climate scientists to do their work. They can't do it nearly as well without your help. I've had my rain gauge set up in my garden for one week now, and in that week, it hasn't rained at all. But that doesn't matter, it's still useful information for our climate scientists. And the longer I leave it in the garden, the longer I use it to collect data, the more useful it will be. Because remember, climate is long-term weather patterns. Good luck with your experiments, and if you do build your own weather station, please take some photos to post in the comments below this video. Happy Earth Day, and thank you for taking action against climate change.